Merry Christmas guys, welcome to another episode of Water Assassin Fishing. Today, on this beautiful day, I'm fishing for Aussie bass up in Berry. And the bite is hot. It's super hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a great start to the day. What a fish. Pre cast number three. And there's that nice little bass on the new atomic cicada. Oh yeah, chunky. Straight underneath that snag over there, looks like a brim. Black pin brim, or is it a tar wine? It's a black pin brim, I think. Oh, good, we've got that lure out pretty easily. Been a little while since my last fish, guys. The tide changed and started to go back out again. And um, I've switched to a diving lure and this little this little brim just just went bang about a meter deep just over in that snag just over there you guys can see just behind me it's a um beautiful little fish as you guys can see black fin brim right up the back in this estuary flooded water how good Hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas out there and a lot of food and presents and family and if you don't, it nah, doesn't matter does it, just enjoy the day and celebrate being um, on this beautiful planet. But today I'm up here in this creek and I'll let this guy go. It's so uh, peaceful, look at what I'm using right now. It's this little lure here by Strike Pro. Uh, it's called a Cranky Deep 40. So it's like a... Um, nice little colour of, you know, with red eyes and 
dives to about a meter and um, it suspends as well. What happened with that one is I vibrated along that snag that you can probably see just behind me over there. And once it got to that depth of about a meter, I just let it stop and just sit there. And it's obviously being a, um, a, a lure that suspends, it's not gonna float back up like you know the stump jumper or, or a lure similar to that would do. So it's diving down and just stops there and perfect for those bass and brim that are sitting underneath those snags. Um, it doesn't have to watch it float back up to the surface unnaturally. It can just basically sit and when that fish is ready to eat, it'll eat. And on a day like today where it has slowed down, um, those sort of, I guess, quicker actions and in a minute stopping will sort of pay dividends. So way up the creek here, guys, further than I've ever been. And I haven't been catching much, and then I threw this um, cicada back out on a frayed line. It's just gone bang, right underneath that tree branch over there. Sorry guys, I've got you on trawl cam there. That's a great, great bass up here. Ooh. I'm way up the creek now guys too, getting close to um, Getting close to this bridge over here. And um, how good is this? Haven't caught a fish in probably about an hour after that red hot bite this morning. Changed back to the cicada just to try and get a bit more noise happening on the surface because the water's so murky. And the tactic works. Tactic work and another beautiful little bass from up here in the creek. How good is that? Uh, fish number five for today. Uh, four bass and one. Four bass and one um, brim. And this one, this particular gentleman right here, sit right underneath there with this cicada. So um, I noticed as soon as tide started going out in this really um, murky water. It's obviously bringing all the mud down and yeah, the fish just went off the bite. So how good is that? Let him go. Put it on this side so you guys can see the release. It's a bit tough going here guys. I'm definitely the furthest I've ever been up into this creek now. I'm um, yeah it's because of this flood water, I can get right up in here, and it's amazing um, how skinny these creeks get and how big these bass still are. And I'm going to keep flicking around. I'm probably going to have to change that later. It's been snagged on everything. But anyway, again, hopefully you guys are enjoying your Christmas morning and kids are opening presents, and you guys are getting lures, maybe. Maybe you're getting something off that video that I put up the other day. I'm going to get these knots out. I'm going to continue to get as far up as I can and hopefully I can bring you something else. Straight under that snag over there. Just took a deep dive up. First time a diver's actually worked in this session today. Yeah, and um, it's a great little fish on that Strike Pro. This little bloke here that I was talking about a little bit earlier. Oh, look at that. So you guys better look at this little fella. Just here. It's got in this little um little pool. You probably call it a little saltwater billabong, and. It's a beautiful looking little bass on a cracking day. Throw him back into his natural habitat. Probably the leader's getting a little bit shorter now, guys. I've only got about a foot of, foot of leader on that. I've just been doing that many lure changes trying to get something to happen. And I'll keep you guys on here for this, this retrieve. But yeah, it's been a, been a different kind of day today, you'd probably say. Um, Early strike was insane. You guys saw that. 
um, slowed down as the, the tide made its merry way out. I've got about an hour worth of that to go. Um, and yeah, as that tide, as pretty much as soon as that started to retreat, the, the, the bass just stopped. Um, and now it's obviously back to a back to a sort of I guess you'd call it an easy run out. It's not going that the, the knots it was going out before. So I just cast you up into these shady bits. I can see someone's lost their line in there. I'm gonna go get that line. I hate seeing lion and stuff in trees and everywhere. There's nothing worse as bird life and animals everywhere and they get caught in the fishing line, so I'm gonna try and do the right thing over here and I'll get this in. the water dragon over here this thing is eating the same things that we're um that we're casting so <laughs> gotta watch these guys they tend to take your your lure They're super aggressive um, feeders he's climbing a tree to have a better look at me from above see his tail just there he's a he's a big one that one Dinosaur of the estuary. Hey mate. It's alright, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna annoy you buddy. I'm just going to try and get this line out of the water so you don't get choked. Middle of the day guys, we just threw this cicada into the, <laughs> the shady spot over there and finally it's been a slow bite. Um, but the surface is definitely the, seems to be the thing in this murky water. great bass there guys it's caught in here behind you threw the cicada in and smash it off the surface hardly even moved it see if we can catch another one yeah. number i think that's seven for today then surface is the only thing i'm really catching Fish on. A great little straight bass. There he is there. The shadow. I've moved about 10 metres and on fish number 8 now. The cicada again. I think what's happening is um, the divers sort of aren't really being seen by these fish. So they're waiting for things to hit the surface. Number eight. This one was just up in that snag over there. <laughs> I ended up getting it guys. I've hooked it. I ran underneath that snag over there. It um, had four goes at this lure. Beautiful bass. Look at that. Beautiful brown coloration to it. This murky water. Funny, the tide's changed, changed and it's coming back in now. Straight away. 
starting to catch a few of these. This is fish number eight. Oh, how good is this? Can you beat it? Probably the best kind of fishing I reckon you could do. Fish number eight. How good does this thing look? Nice wild bass. This one's a healthy, healthy specimen and I love fishing the top water lures for, for bass in the estuary and the creeks. So much fun. Get him back. And we'll shoot off back to his snag. fish trawling. That is insane. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what this is, but oh, I might have lost it. Nah, it's still on. It's very small. Wow. First bass on the trawl. That's ins that is insane. I have I have fished so much on a trawl, thinking, you know, at some stage I might get one. The little Aussie bass, first one on the trawl, and I'm going to call that a day. I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys who are watching this on your Christmas day. I hope you guys have had a fantastic one. Um, hopefully you can get out there and get some fishing done with the kids over the Christmas holiday period. Well, I'll be buggered. There is a ball over there. There is literally a ball on the bank. I wonder if I can get it. I'm going to say thank you everyone for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, as mentioned before, I don't go out of my way to get people to like and subscribe. It's not the reason I do it. I just enjoy watching some of these fishing sessions again in the future. And yeah, there is a ball over there. Soccer ball. How good is that? Make sure I don't get taken by a brown snake. I wonder how deep that mud is. Oh, it's not that bad. Just gotta watch for the bull sharks. We're in bull shark territory right now. Make sure that kayak doesn't swim away from me. Yeah. How good's that? Whoop, put a snag there. I got myself a soccer ball. Um, again, guys, massive thank you for liking and subscribing. Can't wait to uh, see all you guys in 2024. Don't know what it's got in store yet, but hopefully some exciting things. I'm going to see you, you, on the next adventure.